Welcome back, this is the Am Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Prison Suicidal. I was gonna say Ashwood Asylum out of habit, and I, uh, I didn't do that. You are here to clean out Z. I guess, uh, I, I guess we start with the daily tri 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 uh, ter <laughs> oh my god, Terraria update. So I made a, uh, I made a Hallow and Corruption thing spawner, so Forest, Hallow, and corruption it's a beautiful little thing that I made I also made a beautiful little storage room right up here and uh, I'm getting started on some hallow stuff over there ish it's fun right it's fun it's fun it's fun I like terraria triteria I haven't actually I'm having a blast with it I'm mean, I'm having a lot more fun than I thought it would. I thought I'd get into Terraria and be like uh, doing pretty good, but I'm playing it in a very different way this time. More. I used to kind of uh, when I played Terraria before. I'd largely kind of like reference the wiki and uh, like know what information I need and, and how spawn mechanics and all this kind of stuff work. Uh, just off the wiki, but this time I'm going through in a more technical approach, and I'm personally um, at least verifying the information, so and uh, and and figuring out you know kind of the limitations of it, and more the the more specific stuff that you don't quite get on the wiki, like how precise is a, is a measurement of a block when it comes to biomes, and you know where does the thing actually start at, and like. You know, more and more of that kind of stuff to get the uh, the really, really precise, like, I definitely understand 100% everything that's happening here kind of, like, experience with the game. Which is which, which is much more fun for me because I, I just enjoy that kind of thing more. When I get to kind of play with it myself. I just, I never did that before. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because I enjoy that in games a lot more, but... I guess before I was kind of treating Terraria more like uh, an RPG and less like sort of a long-term survival adventure. But I feel like I wouldn't be because I've kind of always felt like Terraria is more about the survival than the like the um, creative kind of building existing in the world than, than it is uh, about um, the uh, What's the word? RPG stuff, the the weapons and all that. I've always felt that it's more about the the building and stuff. But I guess I guess this time I'm going in a little bit more earnestly. I'm not really sure. It's 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 been a lot more fun for me though. This cat's back in the game. It's been a lot more fun. What whatever the motivation was for it, I don't really know. I just started doing it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been fun. I've got a lot more stuff that's, that's like, my own, you know? Like, I'd oftentimes copy builds for AFK farms and stuff like that. I'd make my own on occasion if it was something simple, but... Like, that farm that I just showed you is, um... Like, it's got some very precise, uh, mob spawn stuff and, uh... Like some techniques that I haven't really seen used before that that I personally kind of discovered. Um, well, didn't really dis like personally discover. It's not my thing. Like anybody could have found it, but it's not. I haven't seen people doing it. It's not an impressive thing to do. But um, anyway, uh, my God. Insane. Um, so anyway, it's just, it's just been, uh, it's been more fun. It's been more fun. I got, I got, uh, well, anyway, that, that, that farm that I've, um, I showed you just a brief moment ago is, uh, using very precise biome placements in it. So I've, I've got the artificial biomes being created in, uh, in very specific locations. It's got three different mini biomes, that you, well, two different mini biomes that you can farm in. Um, it's got a elevator in the middle of it, which is like, I haven't seen people doing that before. People always have the, uh, them kind of like filled in, you know, up at the top to just get more death area. 
Suits and boots, guys. We got something. That was the last one. Get to the indicated pod for resupply. I suggest you purchase. Just another stop in the elevator. I don't. Oh my god, I'm just dead. Um. So if you haven't noticed, today is another day where. I guess it, I guess you're probably gonna be wondering, just given the quality of the comment. Or you might not be wondering, but you might be disappointed. Anyway, the moral of the story is I ate a little funny chocolate earlier, and then like immediately afterwards, I was like, "All oh, right, <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't recorded yet today." So I was like, "Ah, oh, crap!" And now's the time that I had to to start recording. So I'm just, it's just, I wanted to try. And make it seem like I wasn't, you know, somewhat high. And, uh, you know, kind of fool you guys, as it were. I don't think I can, though. I really, I, uh, I really am having a lot of trouble kind of keeping track of what I'm talking about. And forming a coherent, you know, sentence and ideas and concepts and stuff. Anyway, we'll get back to trying at least. Um, so the farm has got the fancy little elevator in the middle of it, using some one-way like doors that work on slimes, which is something that I haven't found before. And It's just really cool all around, I think. It's just really cool all around. I'm really proud of that farm. And then I've got, uh, I'm modifying the fishery, which is a design I've gotten off the internet. And I'm going to be modifying it a little bit to move the biomes around just a bit, just a touch. And, uh, Gordon Ramsay, anybody? And it, it, it feels good to kind of be understanding the underlying mechanics better than I ever have before. Because that's, that's the kind of stuff I like doing in games, right? Like, that's, that's the kind of gamer that I am. And uh, being able to actually do what I like doing is, is uh, important to me. And the thing is, is I actually took a bigger piece of the chocolate than I normally did because I, I thought I had already recorded and uh, I uh, was like you know what let's just have a really nice relaxing night and then it was like immediately afterwards that I realized it was uh, yesterday that I did all the recording on not today I don't have anything recorded yet and um I'm impressed by your survival instinct out there. Slash of flick lighting, my face. I can't remember what I was talking about. Keep the area secure. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what I was talking about just now. <laughs> I don't know why my I don't know why my short term memory just tanks it. It's just gone, dude. And it's such an unpleasant feeling. Cause cause you know, it, it went from like oh uh, like okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I can't remember exactly where I was on that discussion, but I was talking about something about it. Um Cause I went from you know, kind of sitting down and making the decision to... It was my last chocolate, too. So it was the last of my chocolate. Almost glad I didn't have more. <laughs> but it might not have been so great. Right. Maybe it would have been better. I don't know. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Heck it, dude. Let's have a good time right now. And then it just gets, like, pivoted to full... Nah, no, nah, you're gonna have to record now. And I'm like, oh god, these videos are gonna suck. And I just feel garbage now. And I'm like, you know, you go from like wanting that that nice, relaxing, good time kind of thing to being like stressed. You know, you go from like a, a good trip to a bad trip almost. And it's uh, we're probably gonna die here. Just FYI. Maybe not. I'm not trying to sandbag. I just... I don't really like this situation so much. And I don't really feel... 
Oh, well, you know what? That flesh pound started coming down those stairs, and I was like, I just, I saw my death happening. And it didn't happen. That's why I'm not a fortune teller. That's why I'm a YouTuber. We don't fortune tell, we chose YouTube. Why would you choose YouTube if you wanted a successful online career? I'm not sure how long I'm gonna make these two episodes. Cause I wanted to just be high and play Terraria. <laughs> I thought I already had them recorded and uploaded. I'm so mad at myself. I'm so mad at myself, dude. It's like just that's what I'm saying. You go from wanting this like really good experience to just being disappointed and sad and mad. And everything else that's bad, and, and rhymes with bad, in fact. All of the bad things rhyme with bad. Like bad. Is there a thing for like a rhyme at the, in the other direction, you know? If you got bad and mad, but then you also have like bad and bat. Do they rhyme at the front instead of the back? Is there like a word for that? I feel like I'm asking a dumb question. It's like, yeah, that's called a noun, you idiot. You know, that's 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 the kind of like thing that I'm feeling. It's not that's not it's not a noun, but like you know that kind of like level of of not knowing what's going on. Um, that's what I feel like it's gonna be. You know, I'm gonna ask my friends and be like, is there a word for the rhyme, but the other way, and it's just like. Yeah, paper, you know, like some word that just everybody knows. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like the typical high person, you know, wondering what the heck this thing is. And it's just like, why is that what you're worried about? That's what I feel like the question is, but I want to know. <laughs> I need to know. Is there a word for rhyme, but in the other way? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to cut them short because I don't really want to record that much right now. Bye.